Hello there. Welcome to Light Embassy Taking His Glory to the Ends of the World. Today's devotion is captioned, It is determined by the unseen. It is determined by the unseen. And our team scripture is taken from the words of the writer of Hebrews. You see, Hebrews was written to these Jewish Christians who, because of tribulation, they had moved to certain parts of the world. So Paul says, through faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. You see, when we are studying the word of God, you have to pay attention, because every word is vital. You know, Jesus is the word. Jesus is the word. So when the word is speaking, like the Bible says, all scriptures are by ins the inspiration of God. So when the word is speaking through his apostles or the prophets, we pay attention. You know, sometimes some, there are some people who speed read their Bible. And when you speed read your Bible, you mix very important truths, very important truths, you see. So he says, you take it carefully. He says, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed, you see, were mended, were adjusted, were repaired, were created, were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Now, let me bring something to your mind. Paul said, we walk by faith, right? Not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. Then again, he said, a faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You see, he says, we walk by faith, not by sight. And this faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Then you come here. Then he, he tells you again. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Wait a minute here. There's something very vital and important that he's trying to bring to your mind. Right? You don't have to miss it. Now when he says we walk by the word, uh, Paul says we walk by faith, right? We walk by faith, not by sight. He's saying that we conduct our life by faith. We direct our life by faith. Why are you supposed to direct your life by faith? Why are you supposed to direct your life by what God has said? This is the secret. This is the answer. This is the reason. The reason is in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. The reason is, is that the walls were framed by the word of God. You see, the walls were framed by the word of God. And when he says the walls, he's not talking about just the physical substance, material substance that you see. He's talking about the course of life, your destiny. You see, the path of life. You, you see that the path of life, the course of life, the riches of space and time. The path of life, the course of life. So you get what he's trying to tell you. He's saying that, hey, God has created a path for you in life. Because the Bible says the worlds, the works were done, were finished from the foundation of the world. So God has created a path for and God did it for every human being. You have to understand every human being, including you, any Christian. Your life was planned before you came. That is why I tell Christians. You don't need to struggle. There's no if you're a Christian, you are you are, you are living a life of frustration. It's because of foolishness. It's because of the lack of wisdom. That is the truth, honest truth. Because he planned your life. You see, that is why the Bible calls Christianity the Sabbath, the rest. He planned your life. You just have to live out that life. And that life that he planned for you is a life of glorious. Like he says that glorious things are spoken of the old city of God. You see that. You are created for, like Peter said, you are called for glory and virtue. 
He created you for glory and virtue. The, the new creature, you are created for glory and virtue. He says, we are his workmanship. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. His product, his handiwork. You see that? Created, formed in Christ Jesus unto good works, which you are pre arranged, preordained. You get that? So your life was planned. And that life is a life of success, a life of greatness, a life devoid of destruction. A life devoid of being defeated. There's no defeat in God. But how can I walk that path? That is the question now. How can I walk that path which I know that I will always be a success? Which I know that no matter what Satan throws at me, I'll come out of it. Because there's that path. You see, I like what uh, in the, in, in the uh, prophetic messia messianic prophecies of, 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 the, of the Psalms, what the Lord Jesus said in the book of Psalms, true prophecies. He says, that has shown me the way of life. That has shown me the way of life. You see, so you want to find that way of life that you know that, hey, if I take this road, this way, I know that I will sure be a success. I'm on the way. You know, because there are many people who are living in error. The Bible says that, oh, oh, it says the path of the wicked is darkness. The path of the wicked is darkness. There are some people who are walking in darkness without even knowing. They are walking in darkness without even knowing. Like Jesus said, I am come a light into this world. I am come a light into this world. There are people who are walking in darkness. You get that? So how am I going to find that path to walk in? Which path I know was created, formed, made available for me in Christ Jesus. This is what he's telling you. He says, is by the word of God. That is why you have to live by the word of God. As long as you are in God's word, everything, like Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. You get it? But by every word, that comes out of the mouth of God. Why do you say that you shall not live by bread alone, but by every word? Why is man supposed to live by every word? Because as long as you live by every word, that comes out of the word of God. That is when you be in God's way. It's not, you see, this is what Christians ought to understand. It's not just because you think I'm a Christian, I love God, so I, I'll, be, I'll be safe from destruction, I'll be victorious. That's why, that's why evil things happen to good Christians. That's why many Christians are destroyed. Because not just because you're a Christian. The secret is, he, has, he told you in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, Deuteronomy chapter 7, he says that, he says that Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Why does he want you to live by every word? Every word he has spoken on in, in any situation, on any circumstance pertaining to you. Why? Because, like he said, thy truth, thy word is my shield and buckler. As long as you are in the word, that word is what is going to sustain you in life, protect you in life from any chaos, chaotic mass, chaotic problems that the devil throw through at you so he says that true faith we understand there's so much i can see on this verse so much but that will be on another day another platform so true faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear things which are seen were not made of things which do appear that's another important statement things that you see talking about the happiness of life the things you see happening in your life the things you see happening in the life of others the things you see happening in the world right things that you see we are not made from things you do appear they are determined from the realm of the spirit so the happenings in your life would is determined from the realm of the spirit that's why he's telling you the happenings of your life is determined from the, the realm of the spirit what is going to happen in your life in the future for instance maybe listening to me what is going to happen in your life in the next five years in the next two years in the next three years my brother my sister is determined from the realm of the spirit. You may joke about it. You may not take what Apostle Alex is, is, is saying. You may say, that, oh, this guy, every time he's talking, welcome to light and busy, welcome to light and busy. Who does he think he is? You know, some people, that's how they are. You see, but you have to listen. Sometimes, you see, they don't just, when people are speaking, you don't like what you are hearing, but just listen and, 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 and analyze it. You, you analyze it. Is it making sense based on the word of God? That's what is important. What is important is the word of God, the word of wisdom. Jesus says that the scripture is wisdom. Wisdom is the word of God. 
you get that so when the hebrew writer like i've explained talks about the walls being framed by the unseen he is not talking about the physical material substance even though that is included he is talking about the cause and happiness of life the cause and happiness of life he is saying that the happiness of life are determined by the unseen the happiness of life are determined by the unseen it is decided in the realm of the spirit you think about it what is going to happen in your life is determined in the realm of the spirit the world they don't know that that is why to the corinthians paul said that this wisdom has been hidden from the world and given to us for our glory you see they don't they don't know that they think that things they see are determined by things they see and no, god says things you see they're not determined by things you see they're determined from the realm of the spirit you see so if i know that what is going to happen in my life is determined by the realm of the spirit then i'm very careful this is why for instance someone will have a vision and it will come to pass exactly as he or she saw it do you see that it was determined he saw it maybe he saw the vision maybe two four years ago and then after four years it came to pass exactly as he saw it let you know the life is determined the causes of life they are determined by the realm of the spirit you know many want a good life right we all want a good life that's the truth there's no there's nothing wrong wanting a good life every person wants a good life who wants a bad life oh you all want a good life many want a good life they want great things to happen to them in life and that is, there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that yet they don't give much importance to the things of the spirit now god tells you wisdom the one who created the bible says wisdom formed this world the one who formed this world tells you that what is going to happen in your life is determined from the realm of the spirit if it's so then it means that i would take things of the spirit very as very important you know when you see people they are frustrated they want things to change they want a good life i'm talking about here even christians but they are carnally minded yes so the word of god which is the wisdom of god you know solomon talk about the instructions of wisdom wisdom will give you instructions but they will not follow these instructions they will not take the word of god seriously yes they want better life they want good things to happen to them in life that's not wisdom but he has shown you the secret he says that hey what is going to happen in your life is determined from the realm of the spirit is determined from the realm of the spirit so any wise person when he hears that would take the things of the spirit as very important as very important the god who created the world says that the happiness of life are determined by the unseen anyone becomes a fool to contend so the bible says curse or woe to him who strive with his maker sometimes you find people including christians they are striving with their maker don't strive with your maker don't contend with your maker so when you are murmuring sometimes people murmuring they groan they mourn and complain griping and complaining all oh, this is striving with your maker how can you strive with your maker it says woe to him who strives with his maker when god says something you don't contend you follow that is wisdom that is what wisdom, wisdom is simple so wisdom wisdom is simple it's just following what god says that's what wisdom is it's not so hard or it's sometimes people think that oh it's so difficult it's like a herculean tax of a thing to work in wisdom no it's very simple wisdom is very so working wisdom is very simple wisdom is god so we just find out what he said and we just do what he said that's well what wisdom is about it's as simple as that i just find out from god so why did he say this great god this great monarch of the universe what did he say then i just follow and do what he said simple as that that is wisdom you see it's very simple to work in wisdom very simple but yes so people choose the path of foolishness and path of folly oh but the bible says the full marks are sin but among the righteous there's favor there's grace you see that there's grace so don't strive with your maker just do what he says when you read isaiah chapter 45 
verse 9 says, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the portion strive with the portions of the earth. Shall the clay say to him, That fashioneth it, what makest thou, or thy work? He had no hands. No, no, don't strive with your maker. The happenings of your life are going to be determined by the unseen, whether you agree or not. The happenings of your life are going to be determined by the unseen, whether you agree or not. Because God has said so. You know, someone may say that he doesn't believe in gravity. It doesn't mean he is not walking by it. You don't believe in gravity, that does not mean you are, you are not walking by it. So someone may say that, oh, what God is saying is not true. It doesn't mean that still his life is being determined by the realm of the spirit. It doesn't change that. We put ourselves in a position of great advantage when we follow that which God has said. We, have, we ought to follow that which God has said. Follow that which God has said. You see that? That's very important. We ought to follow that which God has said. That places you in a position of great advantage. For instance, here is a person. He or she doesn't pay importance to spiritual things. Yet he or she is frustrated by the happenings in life. Is it too hard to listen to God? Humility is not measured by being soft-spoken, cool and calm on the outward. You know, there are some people who think they are humble, but they are not humble at all. When you see them, they are very quiet, calm, on the outward. That's not what humility is about. Humility is not measured by beings, but they are very proud, very proud, very proud. Humility is not measured by being soft-spoken and calm on the outward. No. Humility is measured by your sincerity and regard of the word of God. The one who is humble regards God and his word. The one who is humble has the fear of God. That's what humility is. Humility is measured by your sincerity and regard of the word of God. You know, when you read Psalm 119 verse 19, David said, I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. We need God's commands to make it in this world. Therefore, when you understand from God that what is going to happen in your life is framed from the spirit, you have to be spiritually diligent and conscious. Therefore, my brother, my sister, be spiritually minded. God bless you.